keep your daughter and that she wouldn't fall away like a lot of the pastor's kids that you know. Five and minutes to the opening? Now you're the one saying no? And I said, God, I repent, yeah. So I talked to her and I said, yes, you can go as long as it's with a Christian organization. You're not going by yourself. How long ago was that? Uh, that was, she was 19. She's now 30 something. Ooh, so it's, wow. She's 32. Three minutes to the opening. Two minutes to the opening. One minute to the opening. Welcome to Pray 16. For the next hour, you are invited to stand with other believers as we pray and release the power of God into the lives of his people. Remember, if you're not praying church, you're just playing church. Coming to the studio in five, four, three, two, one.
We are seeking the Lord and we encourage you to seek the Lord with us. Grab your Bibles and pull together and just begin to really press into the things of God. We will be praying for specifics, people that call in, email in or Facebook in, but we also want to encourage you to be part of the prayer team with us. One of the ways that you learn to pray is by praying. I know that that's surprising, but you open your heart up and, and say, Lord, fill my mouth and you begin to pray for others, pray for your family, pray for your neighbors, pray for your church. Uh, you know, begin to do it and you gain confidence and you gain understanding about how the Lord works in your life by actually doing it, by actually praying, reading your Bible, praying, you know, spending time with the Lord and it will begin to unfold to you. You and I need to discover with time with the Lord, we need to discover personal time of prayer and gain confidence in that. And it's a powerful thing to have that accomplished in your life. When you begin to get confidence in recognizing the presence of God, recognizing the, the direction and the guidance and the promptings of the Lord, uh, it's really a powerful thing in your life. So, so that's one of the things that we'll be doing here. We want to encourage a lot of different aspects of prayer in your life. There's so many different things concerning intercession, standing in the gap and praying. And the, uh, one of the main points is that we are called to be a house of prayer. And one of the first things that the church needs to learn how to do is to actually be a house of prayer to where out of prayer, everything else in your life will stem. Uh, you will become a better father if you will be a, prayer, a person of prayer. You will become a better mother, a better student, a better child. You will become a better everything you do. I believe in sports. In whatever it is that you do, you will become better at it if you will be a person of prayer. Because you're going to be given God room in your life. You're going to be more yielded to the Holy Spirit, yielded to the mind of Christ. And you're going to be more cooperative with God in everything in your life because that's what prayer does. It really helps shape you for the things of God. So we just want to encourage you to join with us today as we kind of press in and uh, pray for the things of God in our life. Well, also, I mentioned if you want to call in, email in our Facebook in, uh, we would love to hear from you if you have any specific needs. If you're on Facebook, if you would uh, share your program and out to your following, that would be great because it'll get out to more people and we'll be reaching more people, okay? So God bless. Thanks for being with us. Uh, Mark Madigan, good to have you, bro brother, today. Good to be here. The Church of the Nazarene here in Quincy, Illinois. It's Emmanuel Church of the Ma Nazarene, right? You got it. Okay, I got, got to get the link to <laughs> Yeah, good to have you. This is your second, isn't this your second time with us? Or have you been there? Third. third. I think it's the third oh. time now. So. so you're getting to be a pro, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you well, just I got appreciate back. prayer. Yeah, you just got back from out of town and... You know, thought you might share a little bit how you, how things went there with you. Yeah, we, um, me and my wife went to India to uh, the state of Tamil Nadu uh, to visit with my daughter and her husband and our two grandchildren. We haven't seen them since COVID hit, so um, my wife was extremely adamant that we had to go. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so good. we went to see them. How and, long of uh, a flight was that? It was uh, about a 19 hour flight. Uh, so we went from uh, Chicago to Doha, which was about 15 hours or so, and then, or 13 hours, 14 hours, and from Doha to uh, Bangalore was another four hours. Wow. So okay. It, uh, yeah, it's a long flight and uh, sometimes well, you uncomfortable. Get to, you get but to have some personal time, Re read your Bible. Uh, you, you, know. you get to have a lot of time to do a lot of things, and, yeah. uh, you know, and uh, God is always there. And, and that was the one thing, you know, when you're talking to people about prayer, is that so often they get a, a sense that prayer uh, has to be uh, uh, an event or an uh, a, a particular time you have to just set aside. Now yeah. we do set aside time, yeah, yeah. but prayer is also throughout the day. Yeah, spontaneous. You know, yeah. uh, as we, uh, uh, to me, prayer is the same as getting to know my best friend, uh -huh. because you're talking to God, you're talking to that's Jesus, good. Good. and and um, that to me. Uh, that's how we build that relationship. We build it through prayer, through reading the word, but through talking to God throughout the day. 
you know, when you're driving and you're just, you know, I, I, I talk to Jesus like he's right there. I talk to him when I'm driving, when I, whenever uh, uh, I'm watching TV, I'll say, Lord, why did they put that in there? Or, or, or what, what is uh -huh. the, the concept that's trying to be brought out here? And the Lord speaks and he lets you know some of the behind the scenes stuff when you talk to him. That's really good. You know, but yeah. if we don't talk to him, yeah. or if we don't get used to talking to him like he's right there, because he's present with you. Yeah, yeah, that is such a, that's such a good point too, because, you know, it's not something you necessarily go in and out of. I mean, he's with you. He said, I will, lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the, the age, you know? Yes. So he already told us he's gonna be with us. So basically, you know, through having an open heart towards conversational prayer, you know, you, you expect him to be with you, you know. I remember right. growing I remember as a kid growing up, and I never really understood why I did this, but I remember, you know, growing up, I would sneeze, and I would say, excuse me, Lord. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> and, and I remember thinking to myself, why am I saying excuse me, Lord? Right. But then it was later on when I really kind of gelled with my relationship with the Lord. I understood kind of what I was doing because he was there. And I mean, in, instinctively, I kind of knew that, but I didn't, my, my mind hadn't caught up with it, you know, right. didn't understand what was going on, but you're exactly right, that, that uh, openness to just participate, allow him, so to speak, to be part of your everyday life. Absolutely, and that's how we get to know him, and that's how we get to know his voice, because yeah. especially when you got decisions you, you want to make, it's like, well, God, what should I do? But if you don't know his voice, if you don't yeah. recognize it because of all the other voices in our minds, because what if it's me, what if it, so, so we begin as praying and talking and listening, yeah. we begin to recognize that voice. Well, it's interesting too, because you mentioned the asking questions, you know, uh, Jesus said, if you ask, you receive. Mm -hmm. You know, if you seek, you find, if you knock, it'll be open to you. Yes. And to me, it's such a foundational truth, spiritual truth in scripture, if you ask, you can knock because that's our response of being human and also being divine, so to speak, having, having a divine relationship with the Lord. Yes. But that ties into, you know, throughout the day, if you'll ask, seek, and knock, um, a lot of times I don't get my answers right away. I don't know about you, <laughs> but sometimes I'm asking for a while, yeah. or I'm wondering, or I've asked for some direction, and, but, I'm, but I, I hang in there. I need to hold on to it. I'm, you know, Lord, you know, what do you want me to do with this? Or what, what am I going to do with this? Or what should I do with this? That's right. And it's, it's kind of like a question that's kind of there. It's just hanging out there. I, ha I don't have my answer yet. And then, right. But the answer comes. Yes. You know, and I don't always know when it's going to come. It might come in a time of prayer. That's right. Or it might come when I least expect it. All of a sudden, <laughs> something I've been asking about for months. Yep. All of a sudden, the Lord answers. No lie, a lot of times it's when I'm shaving and getting ready in the washroom uh -huh. and, and all of a sudden that, a you know? thought comes to my mind that was the, the answer to the question that I've had yeah. or seeking the Lord about. I remember asking the Lord, why am I here at a particular place in a particular, and, and uh, it went for weeks and all of a sudden I was just shaving, getting ready and, and the thought came, I want you to do, this is why I want you to do this. And once I heard that, that was my focus. That's good. And, you know, but again, it's just that. And you can tell, to... you can tell it was coming from the Lord. Yes. I mean, there's a difference. Oh, there is. <laughs> you, 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 God will never tell you to do anything that goes against his word. He'll never tell you to do anything that'll hurt yourself or someone else. <laughs> and he will always tell you, you, you will know because he gives that assurance through the spirit yeah, yeah. That, that tells us, yes, this yeah. is me. But if you're not used to talking yeah. or listening, yeah. Yeah. then that's where it gets, but that's how we learn. Well, and we mentioned, you know, talking, talking and listening, you know, kind of tuning into the life of the spirit, really. Yes. You know, um, concentrated prayer times will help with that Amen. as well. Yes. But, um, you know, and, and, uh, it's your willingness to stay connected, so to speak, or to stay in tune with, you know, the, the voice of the Lord or wanting to know the voice of the Lord. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, he says, um, he, he goes, men ought to always pray and not lose heart, you know, over in, I believe, you know, Luke uh, 18. You know, I would that men always pray and not lose heart. People start to lose heart and they start to disconnect 
from their divine nature or you know which you know peter calls it the divine nature which is really the new creation life that right. we have in christ Amen. but if you don't know, don't lose heart you know stay in there be encouraged you know encourage yourself david encouraged yes. himself in the lord <laughs> you know we need to constantly encourage <laughs> ourselves because we have we have physical natural social obstacles to the spiritual life yes and you know and you need to encourage yourself encourage one another in the things of god well, think about all the times you things didn't work out the way you thought they would. Uh -huh. And all of a sudden you felt like, well, maybe I'm a failure. And all those uh -huh. negative thoughts will come to your mind. Yes. But then we, the Lord is there and he's bringing up those scriptures that tell you that you are loved and that I am with you, that, that it's not you, it's my plan. And so you just keep trusting. And he will, I remember I was working driving uh, a trolley and one day I had felt so bad because I had said something I shouldn't have said. And I was just down. It was like, how could you be a pastor? How could you do this? How could you do that? <laughs> and then the Lord stayed there and said, who can, uh, um, uh, who, who can bring a charge oh, against yeah. you? That's right. In you know, Romans 8. Jesus yeah, yeah. justifies. That's good. You know, and, and he started bringing me Who all is this. He that shall condemn, you know? Yeah, yeah. and, and it was, he was bringing me the, the word back to me. And, and I started speaking that. Uh, nobody was around. I started speaking that. I was sitting in the garage, watching at the front door of the garage, sitting there with the truck. And I just started speaking that. And the Lord just reinforced that within me. That's great. And I went from a place of being disgusted and, and, and depressed to a place of joy, knowing that, yes, Lord, even wow. you're able to forgive that. And that that's the thing. We do, we are human. Yeah. We do sometimes are not on our best behavior. We say something yeah. or do something we should, yet God has promised us that if we confess our sins, he is faithful and Amen. just to forgive us of those sins. That's good. And when he does, it's wiped clean. Yeah. And we're able to get up and keep going and keep serving and do what God wants us to do. And that, and that gives you so much, um, that's growth in the Lord. When, when you have those experiences like that and you recover, Yes. you know, from the dives that you might take That's or right. the onslaught to the enemy or whatever. But when you recover from those, you gain so much encouragement from your walk in your walk with the Lord because you know that only he could have done that. Amen. Because, you know, you know how deep you've fallen or whatever or how bad you feel. And then all of a sudden when he recovers you, which is resurrection power. Yes. Paul calls it, you know, that I might know him in the power of his resurrection. That's right. Well, that's really resurrection anointing power that recovers you from depression, Amen. discouragement, negativity. I mean, some of those things are you know, maybe it's just a soulish thing that you get caught up in, but many times it's a, it's a spiritual battle That's the truth. that people are going through where you got demonic forces that are coming against your soul Absolutely. because maybe you don't have the maturity yet to know how to cast those things down, come against them. That's part of growing up in the Lord. That's part of why we're doing what we're doing here today. That's the truth. Is to try and strengthen you to fight, take a stand and resist the enemy. Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Amen. The two things Amen. you're going to do the rest Amen. of your life. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you know, and if you'll submit yourself, you know, and take his yoke upon you, you will have the authority and the encouragement and the strength to resist the enemy. And it is Absolutely. so essential to be able to do that. Absolutely. And, and uh, the, the, the thing is that, that submitting yourself to God, <laughs> that's the Let's tough part. Let's go back part. to that, right? <laughs> that can be the tough part sometimes because we want to do what we want to do. Uh, yeah. But when God says, well, hold on here, you know, <clears throat> who yeah. are you serving? Are you serving you or are you serving me? Yeah. So when we lay it down to God and say, God, it's your way all the way. Yeah. And the devil can come. Yeah. But we're submitted to God. Yeah. So when the devil comes, you know, he's going to flee because he knows the power of God is with us. Yeah. Because we are God's. Amen. And God is right there in us. And that, that brings us back to his presence. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. daily living in his presence. Yeah. And, and that's like the, that's like the, um, you know, the, the pivot point of living with the Lord or living for the Lord is, is surrendering to him, yes. you know, because he is Lord, you know, Absolutely. and if you're, and 
you know, the problems that we've had prior to coming to the Lord was Ooh. the fact that we fought against him. You know, we wrestled against his Lord. I mean, I grew up believing in Jesus and knowing and kind of knowing the Lord in a sense, but I grew up also fighting against his ways for my life. I mean, That's so right. my ways were not his ways, <laughs> you know, but when I finally fell upon the rock, you know, I finally, yes. because of my stupidity and my foolishness, you know, I always thought, you know, I mean, Christians are weak because they need the Lord. They don't, you know, uh, I thought, I mean, that, and so the Lord had to get me to a place of weakness <laughs> yes, <laughs> to where yes. I was willing to become weak. Amen. and yield to him and there's nothing wrong with that you know because no. he's he does need to be the lord because he is the lord right, absolutely and of a truth we can't do yeah. anything for the lord yeah. without the lord yeah. <laughs> we're totally yeah. incapable yeah it sounds a little you bit know. crazy to even say to even put that in words but the truth is you know i mean and that's true even after we like we come to the lord uh. you know nobody none of us can do anything for the lord what we do is with him. That's right. And through him and of him and by him. You That's know? right. So there's there's nothing, you know, that we can do to feel proud about, so to speak. You know, we're learning how to cooperate with God. Well, I'm a, brother, I'm gonna have you pray for those who are watching, just for that. You know, for them to for those watching to just be able to kind of embrace and surrender the kind of life we're talking about Amen. here, okay? God and Heavenly Father, we just thank you and we praise you today. Lord, we thank you that all power and all authority is yours in heaven and in earth, that there's no greater power, no greater authority than yours. And Lord, in the name of Jesus today, we lift up all those that are watching or that are hearing this program and seeing it. Lord, that you would, Lord, speak into their lives and touch them and let them yes. know that you are, first of all, present with them, no matter what they're going through. And Lord, that they will come to a place where they will be able to say yes to you and lay down their yes. lives and surrender their will, their hopes, their dreams to you, O oh God, because, Lord, one, you made them with a purpose. Lord, yes. you made us all with a plan and a purpose, and, Lord, you, you, ha you love us so much that you know what is right for us to do and, and what would give us the satisfaction and the joy and the peace that we're all looking for. Lord God, and that you will do it in such a way yes, if we Lord. would just surrender to you, that, Lord, we would miss out of some of the, the, the harder things that we've gone through because we did it our way yes, and not Lord. yours. Yes, Lord. Father, so, Lord, let each one have a confidence that you love them so much that they would be willing to lay down their life, their hopes, their dreams, and say, Lord, take it and use it as you see fit, knowing that you would never do anything that would harm them, but would love, but you would do all things through love for them and for us. That there's nothing that you care more about than your people, than, than all people, oh God. And you want all people to know your love and to know the safety of being in your hands. Yes, Lord. So let each one today know that, Lord, they can trust you with their lives. They can trust you with their finances. They can trust you with their health. They can trust you with their families. They can trust you with everything. Yes, Lord. We ask it in Jesus' name today. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You know, coming, what a, what a privilege we have to be able to come into agreement with heaven. Amen. To be able to come into agreement with God, the God of the universe. He's revealed himself in his, his word. He's revealed himself in Christ. He's, he's confirmed his work by the outpouring of his Holy Spirit. He's given us of himself. He's, he's deposited and, and revealed himself within our very lives. And so, you know, prayer is simply participating in the great work of heaven. Amen. You know, so I, you know, nothing would make any of us happier to, than to see any of you out there to take some strides, take some steps in your prayer life, you know, take some steps in your spiritual life and begin to, to walk in the spirit, to begin to walk in the covenant of God, to begin to take a stance for who you are in Christ. And, uh, and also begin to pray for your family, begin to pray Amen. for others, begin to pray for others you know who are in need, pray, pray for uh, your church or your neighborhood or whatever, pray for the nation. I mean, uh, if you begin to, you, the things we're doing here today is just simply showing you this is what you can do. You know, Amen. it's not... not what we can do, this is what you can do by just taking some time and begin to pray for others, 
look up a scripture, read that scripture over their life, claim that over their life, speak the name of Jesus, pray for your children, pray for your husband, your spouse, your wife, pray for one another, pray through uh, to some peace, pray through to some joy. Amen. Uh, begin to use the name of Jesus, begin to use the scriptures in your prayer time. Get a concordance, look up the scriptures, begin to incorporate scriptures into your prayer life and learn the Bible, incorporate that into your, your daily prayer time. Get with another prayer partner or somebody who wants to learn how to pray or already knows how to pray, is already, get with them. That's always one of the best ways of being mentored is getting with somebody who's you know, already down that road and you can be with them and, and uh, become part of a prayer team. So, so I just wanna encourage you, you know, be the house of prayer, begin to embrace that calling. I don't care if you're just saved today, if you just prayed a prayer right now, or if you've been saved for 30 years, we need to be the house of prayer. Amen. 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 So that's one of our big callings here. Uh, we're going to take a break right now. Donette Douglas is going to be doing Praise the Lamb, and we're going to have a little bit of worship here, lift up the Lord in our life and just praise Him. And then uh, Brother Mark and I are going to come, come back and pray over some of your needs. If you, again, if you have some needs, you want to call in, email on our Facebook in. We'd love to hear from you. We want to pray for you. And we will be, be back in a couple of minutes, okay? God bless.
Amen, amen. You know, it's always good to have a time of worship in your prayer, the time where you just really let the Lord just, you know, lift you up. I mean, he's there. He is the resurrection and the life. And he wants to raise us up above so many of the things that pull us down. And that's part of the whole process of growing in God and learning and walking with him, allowing him to be the resurrection and the life in our life. And worship really gives him that, uh, gives him that freedom or gives him that place in our life to, to really uh, give us the ascendancy over the enemy. So uh, anyway, I got a, um, do have a praise report. We like to have, if we have any praise reports, we'd love to hear from you. If you have any breakthroughs or healings or deliverances or anything that is a, the answer to your prayers, we'd love to hear from Amen. you. Um, this is one from Melissa. It says she got saved last night. So Praise hallelujah. Jesus. Yes, <laughs> Thank hallelujah. You, Lord. All of the angels of heaven rejoice when Amen. one sinner returns to the Lord. So, you know, all, you, all of the angels are rejoicing in that. But I'm a, we're imagining we have two here and one was for Melissa. So we're assuming this is connected to her. Um, this was the one that said, pray for salvation, healing, freedom, and deliverance. Pray for her family relationships also. So she just got saved, and so that's an answer to prayer. Praise but we're going to lift her up and pray for the rest of the family and for her family relationships. Lord, we yes, pray for Jesus, Melissa. Hallelujah. We bless her, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you have begun a good thank work in Jesus. her. We'll yes, complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And you are doing a, a yes, sovereign, God. supernatural, wonderful thing in Melissa's mm. life, Lord. We thank, thank you that you, she said yes to you. Lord, that she's agreed, Lord, to the salvation that is in your name. She's, Lord, given you the permission to come in and have your great work, Lord God. Lord, of new creation life within her, God, that you brought her. Lord, you've turned her from the power of darkness to the power of light, oh God. Hallelujah. Lord God, to the power of the son of yes. your love. In her, and you've brought her into the family. Lord, in Jesus' name. So we claim, Lord, the, all the promises of God that are yes and amen over her life. We yes, pray, God, God, that she would, Lord God, be a, yes, uh, 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 that she would serve you, that she would yield to you, and that she would allow you to have your good and perfect will and work in her family, yes, in her family relationships, God, that you would break every bondage, that you would break every yoke of the enemy of the past. Lord God, yes, that she would Jesus. reveal, God, your your plans, Lord God, for her that are that are good that you have a future and a hope for her and for her yes, family Father. in Jesus thank name. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Good news. Got a uh, one prayer for Nicole. Her sister Sheila was asked for prayer for her. She was uh, diagnosed with terminal cancer stage four. Um, this is Sheila's children and older half-sister. There is Sheila, her children, and older half-sister. So we just want to lift her up in prayer. Even now, God and Heavenly Father, we thank you. We praise you. Lord, we know you are God above all. And Lord, yes, we know Lord. you as our Lord, our Savior, as our physician, the great physician. You yes, see Lord. Nicole even right now, O oh God, and you know the plans that you have for her, O oh God. Yes. And so we lift her up to you, O oh God, asking you, O oh God, to touch her, O oh God, even right now. Touch her mind, her heart, yes. her body, O oh God. Lord, you're a God that reaches to the very depths. And Lord, let her know that you're present and that you love her, O oh God. Let her know, O oh God, that even in with cancer, cancer, we get so scared. Yes, but God, you're greater than the cancer. Yes. Father God, and we asking you, O oh God, to, to do that which only you can do in her body right now, O oh God, to, to touch, Lord. You're able to destroy the cancer cells, to do those things, O oh God. And Lord, you're also able, O yes, oh God, Lord. to bring Nicole through this. Lord God, through her family, through this, to be with them, to, to walk them through. And Lord, whatever the outcome, oh God, that Nicole can rest knowing that she's in your hands. Yes. And be at peace. And you can give that peace to her family, to her sister, mm -hmm. knowing mm -hmm. that she's in your hands. And Lord, that your perfect and, and wonderful and loving will will be done in Nicole's life, oh God. Because, Lord, we ask it in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And, Lord, we believe that you have a plan and a purpose and a way of moving, whether it is healing Nicole, Lord God, or bringing her completely through to the place that she is with you, 
Lord God, fully healed, fully changed, fully, Lord God, Lord, in your presence. Yes, Lord. Lord God, where yes, there will Lord. be and is no pain, no sorrow. Yes, oh God, Lord. so we lift it up to you, Lord. We, you know our desires to see her completely whole now, here, and her family rejoicing. Lord God, yes. but Lord, we even submit our will to your will today and ask you to have your way because your will is perfect for Nicole's life. We ask it in the name of Jesus yes, today. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You know, the Bible says, with what measure we meet, it will be met back to yes. us. And, um, and I know a lot of times, and just to kind of kind of preempt even some of our prayers here, you know, God's looking at all of our sincerity and all of our yes. earnestness and all of our desires, you know, for him. Um, he's looking at your heart. He's looking at our heart. When we pray, we need to pray wholeheartedly yes. for you. We need to be sincere, um, surrendered, and believing when we pray for, for you, pray for others. Yes. But God looks on your heart, too, that you need Amen. to be going after him with all of your heart. Every single prayer that we pray here today, it's not our, we're not providing something. God's providing something for those who earnestly seek him. Yes. Uh, God's doing a work in your life to get, his, to get people to... I, maybe he is not trying to get you to do it because he, I mean, he, want, he looks on your heart. He wants people to earnestly seek him. To seek, he, see, he tells us to seek him with all of our heart. And he says, when we seek him with all of our heart, you know, he will be known by us. Yes. And, you know, one of the things that has to happen really in the spirit and in people's hearts and in prayer is wholeheartedness. We need mm. to become wholehearted about going after God. Yes. So even as we pray for these, it's really not what God can provide for you. Is it, are you reaching out and going after God wholeheartedly? You need to ask yourself that. You need to, you know, we need to ask ourselves that. You need to ask yourself that. Am I really going after God wholeheartedly? Or do I just want him to do something for me? That's really not how it works. It works because God says, I want you to seek me with all your heart. And I, so I just want to just say that for those who are listening that, you know, you need to stir yourself up in your most holy faith and really go after God with all your heart. Amen. I want to lift up um, the family and friends of Shirley Miller. Um, evidently, she passed away. Mm -hmm. And um, these are, you know, crucial times in people's lives. You know, emotions, lives are affected. Relationships are affected. Families are affected. God cares about these times of, uh, of loss in people's lives. Amen. and. Uh, prayerfully, you know, prayerfully she was born again, went to heaven. But Lord, I pray, God, for her yes, family Jesus. and friends in the name of Jesus, God. I just pray for you, Lord, your presence to be amongst them. Yes, Lord God, I pray for truth. Jesus. I pray for, Lord, you to minister to this family. Yes, Lord God, I pray for supernatural, Lord God, presence of the Lord to minister Jesus. to each and every one in the family. Lord, that you'd bring truth to light, that you would speak to them, that, you would, that they would hear from heaven, that they would hear the voice of the master. Yes. Lord, that you are, lead, you are there to lead them, guide them. Lord, you are there to correct things. Oh, you are there to uh, bring things to light that need to be brought to light in their life, to get them lined up for you, yes. Lord God, and that they would take Lord, your kingdom to light. Lord, that this would not be an opportunity for discouragement to the Jesus, enemy, that Jesus. they would be able to cast off the assaults of the enemy and the lies of the enemy that would come against their soul at this point. Father, I just pray for the armor of light over the family, over the, the uh, family members and, and friends, God. And I just pray that this, Lord, hearts and lives would be turned Please, towards Jesus. you yes, at this God. juncture and in at this time Jesus. Yes, in God. Jesus' name. And Hallelujah. that there would be healing Yes, and wholeness Jesus. and a turning in their life. Lord, yes, turn back God. to you Amen. and begin Jesus. to live by truth Jesus. and begin to live in intimacy Hallelujah. with Jesus Christ yes, in their life. God. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 I have one to pray for Anista, A-N-N-I-S-T-A. Uh, if I mispronounce that, forgive me. A uh, little girl, she's three or four years old, is on dialysis. They mm -hmm. plan to remove one kidney. She's on uh, donor's list. 
So let's just pray. God and Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you. Yes, Lord, Lord, we know that children, Lord God, are, 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 you, you said unless we trust you like a little child, Lord God, we cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. Lord, when the children, when the parents bring their children before you and the disciples tried to stop them, you said, Lord, forbid them not to come unto me. Lord, you, you want children. You love children, oh God. And Father, you have a, a, a heart for the child. Yes, Lord. Father God, you have a heart for this young little girl, oh God. And Lord, you see her. You see the, 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 the kidney, oh God. And Father, you see what, what needs to happen. Yes, and Lord, Lord, we're asking you to give wisdom and understanding to those doctors. And, and Lord, that you would give a, a, a peace and a strength to this young yes, girl, Lord. oh God, yes, and to Lord. her family, that they would come to know you, oh God, the God who is present, the God who is taking them through the fire and the, and the flood, the God who is taking them through such an impossible situation. Yes, Lord. Lord, that they will lay down their lives to you, oh God, and, and put their lives in your hands. They're there. They're in your hands already. They just may not know it. Yes, Lord. But Lord, we know it. And so we're asking you to do the miraculous in this life. Yes, Lord. Father, changing the heart and the mind and the soul, Lord God, that they would come to know you, but also, Lord, touching this young girl and, Lord, moving in her body. Do what needs to be done, we pray, and asking it all according to your will. Let your will be done in this family. Lord God, just as it is done in heaven, yes, let Lord. your will be done in her body, just as it is done in heaven, because Lord, there's no better will than yours. Thank you, Lord. And no greater mm -hmm. love than yours for her, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. We bless him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And again, I want to encourage you to uh, join in as the prayer team as we're praying for these needs. If you want to just reach out your hand, Yes. You know, towards when we lift up the name or if any of these names really um, or any of these people or situations really stand out to your heart, write it down and, and can you continue to pray for that Amen. person, you know, stand in with them and pray for the fullness of the breakthrough that they need in their life. Because I know some of the sizes of these prayer needs that are before us, you know, um, you know, really kind of require more than even the, the, the moment prayer that we offer yes. here. We, we're lending our faith and we're standing with you against the, the powers of darkness. We're standing with you for your healing and for your deliverance. But, you know, the Bible says, having done all to stand, stand therefore. Yes, Many times amen. there, you know, you have to continue to stand. You have to continue to stand in the word, stand for your promises, stand for the call of God. You know, and, and you know, even if you don't get the fullness of your answer or get any answer right off the bat, doesn't mean that it isn't on the way. It doesn't mean that it, that, you know, God hasn't answered your prayers. It means that we need to continue to stand. Amen. So, amen. Uh, one here for Shannon, a young lady just received notice that she has a mass in her, in her lower stomach. Uh, she has surgery May 24th to have it removed. Pray for it to be benign. Amen. Yes, Jesus. Amen. Father, we just, uh, Lord, stand in with Shannon right yes, now. In oh the God. name of Jesus, we bless her, Lord. Please. Father, we stand, we speak Jesus. the name of Jesus, Lord, yes, we bless her. Hallelujah. Father, we stand Amen. against this uh, mass, Lord. And Lord, Jesus. even God, yes, that it would be removed in Jesus' yes, name, Father, Lord, you are able. Oh Lord, yes, you are God. able, God, and we just stand against, Jesus. Lord, this uh, uh, physical attack against your body yes, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. Lord. And we, we just... Uh, Lord, whatever we Please, bind on earth Father. is bound in heaven, yes, Lord. And okay. Father, we take authority, God, over this mass, Jesus. Lord. We just command it to, yes, Lord, to dry up Father. and be removed, Father. Lord, in the name Father. of Jesus. Father. And we just, Father. Lord, just pray, God, for, Lord, a good report Father. in Jesus. her life. Jesus. In the name Please, of Jesus, either, either that is benign or removed, O oh God, that it is, has no further negative yes, effects Jesus. upon her stomach Please, and Father. upon her body. Yes, in the name Jesus. of Jesus, God, we stand, Lord God, for your help and, and your blessing. Jesus. 
Lord God, in the life of Jesus, yes, Lord okay. God, that is greater than the attack of the enemy, Lord, yes, in, in her life, God. Lord, we stand, oh, Lord, Lord Jesus, God, for the victory, Jesus, Jesus, Lord God, Jesus. over and against, Lord God, the sickness and the, yes, and the attack of the enemy. We rebuke it. We renounce it in yes, Jesus' God. name, and we claim, Lord, Hallelujah. your healing and your presence yes, and your recovery yes, in Shannon's Lord. life Hallelujah. in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God. Amen. Hallelujah. I have one for Patty's husband. He has cancer. Lord, you see, oh God, we just enter. Lord, you see all these requests for healing. You see all the, the attacks that are coming, all the, the, the cancers and, and, the, and the different things that are happening, the, the, the Lord, Lord, in people's lives. And Lord, these are so great. Father, people are looking at life and death situations, yeah, oh God. Yeah. And Lord, we're lifting them up to you, Lord. They're, they're too great for us to handle, but Lord, they're not too great for you. Lord, you're the God who, who was there, present, and formed us in our mother's room. You put all everything in, in place according to your design for each and every person. So, Father, Lord, yes. we come to you asking you for, for Patty's husband and, and Jesus, even for all of these yes, that Lord. want healing, Lord, that you would move in their lives, oh God. We know you have the power to, to you just say the word and yes, the cancer Lord. gone. Cancer has to bow down to your word. You speak it, it's done. Father, yes, you spoke this whole world in their existence. Lord God, what is it for you to say, cancer be gone? in a person's life. Yes, so Lord, Lord, we ask it of you, Father. We ask you, O oh God, not only for healing in the body, but Lord, we're asking you for healing in the soul. Father, that Patty and her husband would, would really know you and their, their family would know you. Yes, Lord. Father God, yes, Lord. that you would, they, they, they would lay down their lives and give it to you, Father. Yes, Lord. So that they could be made completely whole completely whole, not just physically whole, Lord, but spiritually whole as well. We ask yes. it in the name of Jesus today, yes. knowing that nothing is impossible for you in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> you know, thank God we have somewhere to go. Amen. Thank God there's a, there's a way of escape from the Hallelujah. enemy's devices and attacks um, that, uh, yes, these are physical issues that we're facing or that many of these people are facing, but um, sometimes they're spiritual in essence, sometimes they're spiritual attacks, and even if they're natural, thank God we have uh, a way of escape. You know, many of us, uh, we've heard many reports and have experienced healing ourselves. have had God, uh, healing from the Lord. Uh, he is, Jesus is a healer. If we look over in Isaiah 53 and you know, 1 Peter 2, 24, we look over, he is, the, he, he is our healer, that by his stripes that we are healed, that he has, he has caused uh, healing to be a provision for the church. And he has, he has established himself as a healer for the body of Christ and for all men, who all who would call upon the name of the Lord. So even though to some people it may seem like a figment of our imagination, but it is accomplished in Christ Healing is accomplished. Salvation is accomplished. Peace is accomplished. Breakthrough, uh, um, uh, restoration of relationship with the Lord is accomplished. But he's waiting for people to call upon him, that they can draw from that, uh, from that great provision that is in Christ Jesus. And that's what we're doing here is we agree with the word of God and pray Hallelujah. over these knees. We're, we're calling upon the provision of the Lord for their life. We're calling upon the supply of heaven that is for these people's lives. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, Amen. people go to the hospital. I mean, hospital. People go to deal with things in the natural, but we can deal with things in the spiritual as well. We can go to the Lord and receive from his abundance. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I got one here for Linda. Uh, has developed swelling and cellulitis in both legs. Is experiencing kidney failure. And if medication isn't increased doesn't help, or doesn't help, she may be hospitalized and, and need dialysis and is asking for a reversal of this and uh, her kidney to be restored to total, for, total function. So, Lord, we, we know that you've done this before. We know, I know that you've done this in yes, other people's Jesus. lives. Lord, our hope is in you. 
Lord, our trust is what you can do and what you've promised to do to all who would call yes, upon the name Father, of the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we speak the name of Jesus over Linda's life. And Father, we thank you, Lord, for the blessing, Lord, that is in Christ, the blessing of yes, Abraham. Jesus. Thank you for the words of life that are in Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you for the words of deliverance and the words of healing that are in Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you sent your word and healed them of all of their sicknesses and all of their diseases, oh God. Lord, they, Lord we forget none of your benefits. Yes, Lord, we God. stand in, in agreement with your benefits yes, for God. Linda, Lord, and those that we're praying with here today, God. Lord, we say yes and amen to your word of yes, promise Jesus. and provision for her. Lord God, we pray, God, Lord, that you would minister to her spirit, minister to her mind, Jesus. and minister to her God. body. Lord, that she Jesus. would put her faith in you, her hope in you, that she would look to yes, Jesus. Oh God. Lord, that she would begin to, even in the midst of her trials, even in the midst of her, her, mm. her um, testing and things, that uh, treatment that she's going through in the hospital, help her, Lord, to get her eyes upon you. Lord, yes, help her, God, to look unto Jesus, Lord, the author yes, and the finisher oh of her faith, O oh God. Lord God, that you have, Lord God, Lord provided Lord a way, Jesus. God, Lord God, of hope and healing. You've provided yes, a way, Father. God, of breakthrough and peace. You've provided a way of healing for those of us who call Jesus. upon you. Lord God, help her, strengthen her spirit, O oh God. Lord, strengthen her faith, yes, God, to look Lord. to you and to call upon you and to receive, God, from your abundance. Yes, In the name of Jesus, Lord, we speak life and healing over Linda's body. Body. Lord, we rebuke these, yes, uh, Lord, these ailments, in these, the uh, Lord, Lord God, this uh, infirmities, God, Lord, and we pray, God, for a recovery. Lord, turn, Lord, her situation for good. Thank Lord God, Jesus. in Jesus' name, Hallelujah. and for healing and restoration. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You know, sometimes, uh, just wanted to also make mention that people sometimes say, well, I prayed, but they died. You know, and uh, we, we have to acknowledge that, you know, we, we pray sometimes out of our desire to see what God wants and to, to, to do what we really want because we love people and we want to see everyone healed. And, 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 but, but the fact is, is that there are times when it's their time, mm -hmm. when they, they are called to, to come, come to God, you know, come, come home. Uh, the, the call of, of, you know, people, people fear death because they don't understand that, that, that death is one, the natural part of this life, unfortunately, since the fall of man, uh, mankind. But, but it, it is also a call to come home mm. to Jesus. Mm. And, it, and that's why while we're living, Jesus is there saying, come to me, mm -hmm. all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and mm -hmm. I will give you rest. Come to me and, and, and put your trust in me so that when you do come home, you're coming home to me. You don't have to go to hell. You can come Amen. to home. And Amen. the Bible says that when we pray, believing, but it also says, and we pray according to his will, it'll be answered. But there are honestly times when we want God's will, but God's will is for those to come home. Mm -hmm. And we have to accept that. Mm -hmm. And we, we not only accept it, God gives us the comforter. Mm -hmm. He said that God of all comfort himself comforts mm -hmm. us yeah. and gives us the strength. So when we're praying and, and, and people, some people get disillusioned because they don't understand because they think, well, I prayed it should happen. Mm -hmm. Well, God's will is greater than our ability mm -hmm. to know or to yeah. see sometimes. And as we get to that place, he's going to let, his will is greater. Mm -hmm. So his will is going to happen because mm -hmm. he loves everybody more than we ever could. Yeah. And mm -hmm. he knows what's best. For some people, it's best to come home. Mm -hmm. For others, it's best <laughs> well, to... Well, you, know, yes. you know, that's why, you know, I'm thinking while you're sharing that, I'm thinking how... That's why it's so good to be part of the body of Christ. Yes. To be in a family of believers where you're praying together. Yes. You're sharing the word of God together. You're sharing your life with other believers. Uh, too many people try to live distant from the body. But I mean, if you're part of the body of Christ, when you go through things, 
the revelation of God's will is going to be confirmed yes. through others. The Bible says in the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. And yes. so he, with a pastor, with other, maybe other leaders, other, just, uh, other members of the body of Christ, when you are spiritually related to the body of Christ, you know, you're going to be part of others who are going to bring confirmation as to what God's doing in your Absolutely. life. Absolutely. And it's going to be, it's going to be a, a time that you can handle easier. You know, you and your family is going to handle easier because you're handling it through, spiritually the way God wants you to, right. through his family. And that is what the church is supposed to be, is the yeah. family of God. That's right. And if you're out there alone and you don't have a church, find a church. Yeah. Because God wants you part of the family, not just the family of believers, but the family that can come together physically yeah. and be with you through the good times, through the hard times, yeah. through the sad times, through the happy times, because that's his yeah. presence too. Yeah. His presence is within us Amen. and his presence is one, both of us together, yeah. all of us together. That's his presence as well. Yeah. And that's what makes life worth living yeah. and it enables us to go through all the times yeah. of life. Amen. So here Amen. We, we have uh, Shelly, who's actually wants to give a praise report that uh, she starts her new job tomorrow and that she was ex in a, accepted for an apartment which she did not even qualify for. Hallelujah. But she was able, the, the Lord worked and moved on the, these people's hearts that she was able to get the apartment. Hallelujah. And she uh, uh, really, truly appreciates the prayer that we're praying and uh, wants us to continue to pray as she moves on in, in the awesome. new journey and, and chapter of her life. So we just want to give God thanks for her. That's awesome. Amen to that. Thank amen. You, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We, we love to hear those praise reports or those breakthroughs because these matter yes. in people's lives, physically, circumstantially, relationship. I mean, it, you know, it means something to the Lord, means something to the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Um, you got another praise report. Go ahead. And oh, do yes. Yeah. Um, uh, from Brady. Uh, uh, received a call about Brady a few weeks ago. She had, a uh, Brandy, I'm sorry. She had been uh, critical in ICU in Springfield. She is now out of ICU, is able to do some uh, rehabilitation. Not sure how long she will be remain in hospital. But praise God, she is no longer in the ICU. Thank she you, is recovering. Thank and you, we're Lord. trusting God that he will bring her to full recovery. Amen. Hallelujah. Whatever that looks like. Amen. Amen. Awesome. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> um, have one here for uh, Michael, uh, recently diagnosed with Parkinson's, mm. which, uh, you know, I know is a, a big deal today. Yes. You know, it's been, it's been kind of prevalent, but at the same time, it's a lot of different, you know, things going on with all this in terms of what causes this and what is a, you know, um, but I do know whatever it is that is the cause, I know uh, the Lord is always a solution. Hallelujah, yes. You know, for whatever, whatever it is that the, we're facing. And so even if he gives a diagnosis or if he gives kind of an insight as to, to maybe a better treatment or the right treatment of it, you know, he can do that as well. But we want, we look for his presence. Amen. So Father, we, we bless Michael, Jesus, yes, Lord, Lord, in Jesus' name. We pray, Hallelujah. God, for your presence, yes, Lord, Jesus. in his life, Lord God, yes. to, Lord, give him soundness of mind, Yes, Lord God, Jesus. soundness of thought, oh God, Please, bring Father. a recovery, yes, Father, oh Lord. Uh, oh, Lord, Lord I know Jesus. that many people yes, may Father. want to just kind of want the grace of God just to deal with it or just to kind of, and, and we need great, the grace of the yes. family needs the grace of God to deal with it. But at the same time, God, we want to, we Hallelujah. also, we should be looking for wholeness and yes, recovery Jesus. from the Lord. Yes, we should God. be looking for peace and we should be looking for strength and, and a soundness of thought and mind yes, and heart oh and, and life. And we claim that and pray that, Lord, Jesus. over Michael's yes, life. Father. And Lord, I pray that the family would have faith and the family, yes, Lord, would lock in and believe Jesus, and Jesus, stand Jesus. And, and speak life over Michael. And, and Lord, take, yes, take a stand Father, against please, this, uh, this attack because I don't believe... Parkinson's is a blessing from the Lord I, in, in any way. In Jesus' name, I believe it's attack 
of the enemy. Yes. And even if you say, well, you know, people have to Jeez. decay some way, shape or form. Well, not necessarily. They can decay under the, we can, we can just kind of grow weak physically, but oh, you know, Jesus. just pray for the strength of the Lord yes, to be oh recovered God. in Michael's life Hallelujah. in Jesus name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And we got another one for Alex who is, uh, his cancer has returned. And Father God, we're looking to you. We're asking you, Lord, you did it once. Father God, what can keep you from doing it again? We ask you to touch Alex in his body, Lord. We're looking to you to bring, Lord God, this cancer. It, that It has to be, Lord, it has to bow down to you. Lord, cancer is not greater than Jesus Christ, oh God. And so yes. we're asking you, oh God, and believing, Lord, that you are more than able to defeat this enemy again in the name of Jesus yes, for Alex's Lord. life. Lord, give him the peace and the, and the knowledge that you are present, Lord God, and that he could ask himself too and even lay his hands on his body where the cancer is. And that, Lord, we, 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 yes. we ask in the name of Jesus yes. today that you will just heal and remove it, Father. Yes. There's nothing, oh God, that's impossible for you. And we believe that with all of our hearts, oh God, that you are more than able to defeat cancer, Parkinson's, or any other kind of disease, Lord God. So we ask it in the name of yes. Jesus today. For great are you, Lord, and greatly are you to be praised. And yes. our trust is Hallelujah. in you alone. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, we pray that you be exalted and lifted yes. up, Father, in all these in all these lives and all these people, Lord God, yes, that you would be glorified, not glorified at all by the sickness or the infirmity, no. but glorified by the, by the peace and the recovery yes, and the help Jesus. of your handiwork in the midst. Yes. Lord, I wanted to pray for the graduates. This is, a, we're in a graduation yes. season. Father, Father, I want to pray for, Lord God, the children coming out of school and the graduation. Yes, Lord, I pray for your blessing. I pray, God, for your help. I pray, God, Lord, for the ministry of your Please, presence Jesus. and your truth in their life. Lord, I pray, God, for you to lead and guide them, Father, into the new season, Lord, yes, in their Jesus. life, Lord God, that you would go before them, that you would reveal yourself to them, yes, Lord. Lord God, that you would take away any confusion and that you'd bring peace. Lord God, that you would bring them, Father, into some godly friendships and relationships, you, God, that they would be, Lord, kept and saved by the power of God, Lord God, in Jesus' name, that this Hallelujah. would not be, Father, an opportunity of the enemy, but this would be an opportunity of God in their life, Lord God, yes, to go Jesus. on, Lord, to bigger and better things in the Thank spirit, you, to go on to bigger and better things in God, Lord, in the name yes. of Jesus, that they would become seekers of God, Hallelujah. Lord, in their life, Lord God, they begin yes. to go to church, get in the Bible, Bible, get with other believers, that yes. they would begin to, Lord God, do the right things, oh God, yes. and allow you to solidify their lives, that they would live in the truth, Lord God, and the yes. years ahead of them, Lord God, Thank would be Father. better than the years in the past, yes, oh in God. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We Thank speak you, blessing Jesus. over the graduates, the blessing, Father, over the children, yes. Lord God, going into the summer, in Jesus' Hallelujah. name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Brother Mark, God bless you. Thanks Thank you. for being with me today. Enjoyed Always praying with you. Always Amen. Amen. So God bless you. Thanks for joining us. Be in prayer. Deepen yes. your prayer life. Get a prayer Hallelujah. life that matters. Amen. God bless you. Talk to you next week. Amen. All your life, there has been a God in heaven who loves you and wants an intimate, personal relationship with you. Sin made that impossible, but he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to remove that barrier and offer eternal life to whosoever will believe on his name. If you've never done so before, I encourage you to say yes to God today. Admit that you're a sinner. Believe that Jesus of Nazareth is the Son of God. Believe that he died on the cross for your sins and that he was raised from the dead on the third day. Commit to follow Jesus for the rest of your life. Now, tell someone about your decision because the Bible says, with the heart one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. If you did that from a sincere heart, welcome to the family of God. You have taken the first step of a journey that you will be on for the rest of your life. You are now born again.
a new creation in the eyes of your heavenly Father. God has a wonderful plan for your life. Call this station to talk about the next steps. God bless, brother.